Animal Adoption Center saves a Great Dane from euthanasia. The next morning, she gives birth to six puppies. Fox 11's Haley Winslow's live at Wags and Walks in West LA. They're hoping for fosters and adopters. Haley. Yes, and I'm with Lorenzo. He could be your new best friend. They're mutts. There are purebreds. There are so many incredible dogs here that have been here for way too long. Right, Lorenzo? So young, their eyes aren't even open yet. Little pink noses and paws wiggling their way to mama's milk. These are four-day-old Great Dane puppies. Their whole bodies are the size of mama's head. I look at that dog, mama, and just say, like, who could have, you know, left her? Because she's just got such a sweet demeanor. Hannah Fensterstock trains dogs at Wags and Walks through her company Pack Potential and stepped up after hearing the need for a foster home for two Great Danes. They were at one of the shelters in a high kill shelter at risk of euthanasia. We fell in love with both of them, took them back to our center, and in the morning, mamas gave birth. We didn't even realize she was pregnant. Wags and Walks in West LA rescues dogs from high kill shelters, but only has so much space. Zelda has been here more than half her life. The two year old shepherd mix is a Wags and Walks favorite. Brindle, about 50 pounds. She plays really well with her friends. Dorothy, a 10 year old schnauzer mix, has been here more than two years. Someone adopted her and then returned her. She's a tripod, but don't tell her because she still runs really fast. She's a little bit picky with her humans, but if she loves you, she loves you. She's Velcro, she's your best friend. Then there's Renee. Renee is the best. She is a soulful, doll-faced little mini pit bull. She's so pretty and she's great with everyone. She's gentle and kind and dainty and she walks beautifully on a leash. So many great dogs in need of loving homes. And you're opening a spot up for another dog who may not have been able to make it there too. Look how tiny they are right now. They fit in the palm of your hand. Mom is making sure they're okay. So all these guys are named after baby animals. We don't really know which one's which, but there's Lamb, Tadpole, Kit. Which one are you? If you would like to take one home, they'll be available for foster or adoption in about two months. You can go through WAGs and walks to do so. And you can do it early. You can fill out an application right now. And Mama needs a home too, don't forget her, right? A gentle giant given another chance at life, along with her pups, these two little girls and four boys. But it takes a team effort and everyone doing their part. The shelter can only keep so many. So they're forced to euthanize. So we have to not bring them to the shelter in the first place. And we also have to think before we buy a dog because there's so many great dogs in, in rescues. Okay, sit. <laughs> I've been coming to Wags and Walks for years and today I saw a lot of the same faces. It just, it's mind blowing to me that some of these dogs can't find a home. This dog, Lorenzo, I've already fallen in love with. He's a two year old, oh, I know, terrier husky. He's so goofy, what a character. You want to tell them at home, say, adopt me, bring me home. This could be your new best friend, Alex and Christine. I know you're in the market. Oh, <laughs> Reporting live in West LA, I'm Haley Winslow. If Back only I wish. They all seem so wonderful. Hope people out there do need a Yeah, home. and it's wild to see a Great Dane that small. <laughs> Think of them as that. It was really, <laughs> really remarkable. Uh, thank you, Haley. Great story. Literally Hope, fits it in the palm of your hand. Yeah, hopefully we can do a follow-up with people that found uh, yeah. their pets thanks to your story. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Haley.